Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable all the new hidden features inside the latest build from the Canary channel, which is the build 25915. And this is a build that has a quite a lot of new features that are announced officially by Microsoft, but there are also some features that are pretty much hidden. And I think a lot of users don't know about them. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable all of those. Before starting the video, a quick disclaimer, some of these hidden features that I'm going to talk about in this video were discovered by Phantom Ocean 3 and Panther on Twitter. So make sure to follow them if you want to learn more about hidden features earlier than others. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. As always, when we enable hidden features, we're going to have to set up Vive Tool on our computer. So we're going to have the download link for Vive Tool in the article below in the video's description. Just make sure to download the latest version. That's it. After you download it, you can just open it up using File Explorer and then click on Extract All to extract it into the System32 location. In this PC, local disk C, then scroll down to Windows, and then scroll down to locate system 32, select folder, extract. I'm gonna have to replace the files in my case, click on continue, and this is how easily you set a Vive tool on your computer. Now, after you set a Vive tool, you're gonna have to open up the CMD, right click on the CMD, and then click on run as administrator, and on user account control, of course, click on yes. First of all, I'm gonna show you two new features that you can enable using Vive tool, and then a feature that you can enable or disable through regedit because this is hidden in the latest scanner channel build. First of all, we're gonna type in here this command vive tool slash enable slash id 39484957 and this command will basically enable a new section inside the OB installation process of Windows 11 regarding to presence sensing this was discovered by Phantom Motion 3 also the commands will be in the article below in the video's description and after you run each command you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration and now we're also going to be able to enable Windows Copilot on the Canary channel the great news for those of you who are using the Canary channel but you're going to have to run a few commands in order to enable the Windows Copilot AI Assistant. The first command is this one. Of course, as I've said, you're gonna have all the commands in the article below in the video's description. Second command is this one, press enter. Also the third command. Here is the fourth command. Again, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. And finally, the last command that you need in order for the Windows Copilot AI Assistant to work. And also make sure you have Microsoft Edge up to date so that the Windows Copilot AI Assistant will work properly. Of course, after you run all these commands in the CMD, you can exit out and restart your computer for the changes to take effect and first of all I'm going to show you how the third feature from this video will work because we have to enable it from the registry editor as I've said and that is basically the missing virtual touchpad option inside taskbar settings in the latest build from the Canary channel that was discovered by Seno Panther on Twitter so a huge shout out to him to re-enable that you're going to have to go inside the registry editor right click on it and then click on run as administrator and here in the registry editor you're going to have to navigate to the following location HK current user then software then Microsoft expand them all and then select touchpad here in touchpad right click new d word 32 bit value and name this value touchpad desired visibility and then just double click on it and change the value data to one in order for this button virtual touchpad to appear on the taskbar or zero if you don't want it to appear that's very very simple and this is very useful thank you again to xenopanther for discovering this now talking about the first two features that we've enabled in this video as i've said we have a new presence sensing section inside the ob be installation process of Windows 11. Of course, it is very hard to test that because you would have to enable that before installing your Windows operating system, but you're going to have on the screen a screenshot of Phantom Motion 3 to see how that looks. And as I've said, in the next few days, maybe I'll make an in-depth video with how the new installation process for Windows 11 20 through H2 would look. And if you want to see that video, of course, let me know in the comments below. And finally, of course, as I've said, we also have Windows Copilot AI Assistant, which now works properly inside the Canary channel. Of course, it is pretty limited right now because as you saw, Microsoft is working on it at the moment and it's adding more commands, more things that the AI will be able to do. But of course, just to test this out, we can just type in here something like take a screenshot and the official snipping tool app will be opened within seconds. And as you can see, for some reason, it's not wanting to open snipping tools right now. I'm not sure why this is the case, but of course the assistant should work overall. Maybe it has some issues all up here and there, but the basic support should be there. So as I've said, if you want to enable all these hidden features, make sure to get Vive tool from the article below in the video description and run the commands that I've shown you in this video. And also check out the location for a JEDIT and the DWORD 32-bit value that you need to create in order to have the virtual 
virtual touchpad on your taskbar inside the Canary channel. So this was the video for today. If you have any additional questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.